crash and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I want to talk about an absolutely killer record from the Venetian Snares, and that is Filth. This, in a lot of ways, I would say, like, this is some of the best artwork. This record, as some of, like, I don't know, like, the tightest songwriting of his entire career. I like how the title is Filth, and the songs do sound really squelchy and filthy, and there is an overall uh, hyper-sexualized theme to this record that works in perfectly. And I don't know, a lot of these too, it's funny, the, this record, or aspects of this record, mainly I'd say Mongoloid Alien. Mongoloid Alien reminds me a lot of what Aphex Twin was doing on Drux. And had you slowed Mongoloid Alien down just a touch, it would have fit in perfectly with Drux. Now, whether or not that means anything to anybody, I know that Drux was either loved by Aphex fan base or it was uh, not loved by Aphex fan base because it may have collapsed under its own weight due to the fact that it was a double album. Personally, I thought Drux was perfect. It would have been perfectly okay had he released three CDs or four CDs. But this record, I don't know, I love everything about it. The only song I don't love is Chainsaw Fellatio. I find that once it slows down, it goes on a little long. But this has some of the best material Aaron Funk has ever written, from Deep Dicking to Mongoloid Alien. Um, Kelvin Kleining's on here, Kimberly Clark. These songs are like absolutely essential Venetian snares type stuff. And it's coming along so late in his career. This came out in the late 2000s, specifically 2009. I probably should have checked that before, but fuck it. I just read it off the back. And... I don't know, there's something about this record that does sound really squelchy and really messy, and yet the production is among, this is among the best produced stuff he's ever done. Even though I would argue all of his stuff is produced incredibly well because the man is ridiculously talented and he really understands his material. There's something about the production on this record that I just identify with, and I absolutely love the artwork. I, I, I This is AS1, right? Is this? Yes, this the design work was by AS1. Yet again, they've done a handful of his newer albums, and they never miss, and this is certainly no exception. I love this record. It's fun, it's twisted, it's fucked up, and really, in my opinion, the only misstep was track five, which is Chainsaw Fellatio, which doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Or maybe it is, depending on what your thing is. I don't know. You know, you want your fucking dick cheese grated or something. I guess, you you know, that's the type of track for you, but it's not really my thing. So yeah, so look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for sitting with me while I discussed uh, the Venetian Snares 2009 album, Filth. If you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm going blind. Why is it burning? I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.